In this video, we will see how to save barcodes inside a file. Barcode to PC allows you to create custom CSV files and to specify more fields and naming scheme rules so that you can use them later with other programs. Starting from the simpler case, if you need to export an entire scan session all at once, you can use the option called export as CSV. If instead, you need to save the barcodes, in real time, as you acquire them from the smartphone, you have to enable the Append to CSV Files option, from the server settings. This way every time a scan is received, it will be immediately appended to the file. If you need to include more fields in the CSV file, then you'll have to edit the output template. The output template field that you see here, defines which data should be collected from the smartphone, and therefore the resulting CSV row, that will be appended to the file. For example, suppose that you want to create a CSV file that has the product ID in the first column and the tracking number in the second one. then you'll need to edit the output template field, like this. This way when you tap scan from the smartphone, it will acquire two barcodes, and will send them together so that they can be appended to the same row of the CSV file. Now that you've understood how to customize the CSV fields, to better organize the output files, you may want to define a naming scheme rule to automatically save the files with different names. For example, you may want to put the scans into a file with the current date of the day. To do that you need to go in the server settings, scroll down to the append to CSV settings, and edit the file name. We want to use the date variable as file name, so we've to type it inside the double curly braces, like this. Save the settings, and scan. As you can see, once a scan is received, it creates a new file with the current date. This feature could also be useful in a scenario where you want to use different CSV files for each smartphone in your facility, so that you can understand from which one the scan has been acquired by looking at the file name. In this case, we want to use the smartphone name, as variable, for the file name, so we just type it inside the double curly braces, like this. But this time we'll need an additional step. Since the device name variable is specific to each smartphone, we must instruct the app so that it'll include also this piece of information when it's sending a scan. To do that we must add a device name component in the output field, but since we don't want it to be written inside the output CSV file, we'll check the skip output option, like this. Now we can save the settings and scan.
As you can see every time a scan is received, it's saved to the appropriate file. To change the smartphone name you have to go in the app settings and specify a custom name. To find out more about output templates, and how to manipulate barcodes, check out the next video. If instead, you haven't already downloaded barcode to PC, search for it on the Play Store and download the server from barcode2pc.com.